What's up guys, Brospo Productions here, back with an all new Mortal Kombat X video for you guys, and in today's video I have got some good and somewhat bad news. Okay, the good thing is that we are going to be getting a combat pack 2, that's confirmed guys, but the bad thing is, we're going to have to wait until 2016 for the combat pack 2. Now obviously it's early 2016 or the first half of 2016 so it's probably going to be like you know right when 2016 starts and all that kind of stuff so we won't have to wait for like mid 2016 or late 2016 and stuff. Okay but first things first let me read this off. Today Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment confirmed that Netherrealm Studios is developing new downloadable content DLC for Mortal Kombat X. The best selling game of 2015 to date according to USNPD, the new content will include four playable characters, skins, and new environment, all of which will be available for the first half of 2016. So guys, that's still a long time guys, 2016 is super long, okay? But I do see some good things, okay guys? And I'll get to that in the end of the video, so be sure to stay tuned for the good things, because there's always something good when something bad happens, guys. That is proven fact. So obviously the bad thing is that we're going to have to wait until 2016 for the highly anticipated combat pack 2. Now 2016 is not that very far from here, but still, it's a four month wait. Can you imagine waiting for four characters, some new skins, like probably like 15, and some couple stages and all that kind of stuff? For four months? That is extremely ridiculous, and I do not know why they would wait until 2016. Now, if they put skins out, like, each month, like, next month, and then the month after next, or some new DLC stages or something, then I can see this game still having the hype and all that kind of stuff. And that's another thing I should talk about. A lot of people are saying, okay, you know what, I've given up my hype, I'm not gonna play Mortal Kombat X anymore, I'm leaving the game, I'm leaving the franchise, I'm leaving the community. Okay, if you call yourself a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan and you say that kind of stuff, you are definitely not a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan. That's just me, and I'm sorry if you got mad, but I think that's very true. If you're dedicated to this franchise, then you wouldn't leave the game knowing that you'll get DLC, but you're just gonna have to wait in a couple months, even if it's long, okay? I'm not leaving the franchise, so don't worry, don't ask me if I'm gonna stop doing Mortal Kombat videos, I'm not gonna be doing that. Never would I ever think of that, I'm always gonna support this game, this game is really definitely worth it, I love it. It definitely deserves to be the best selling game of 2015, or the first half of 2015. But if they don't put out some DLC skins, or something new, while we wait for the combat pack 2, then the game is most likely gonna die, and no is going to be hype for the combat pack too. So I don't see Netherrealm not producing more content while we wait for the combat pack too. I do not see them doing that, but if they don't put any DLC, any new skins or any free skins while we wait for the combat pack 2, this game is a guaranteed death, okay? I'm still going to be playing the game and I'll still play and I'll still buy the combat pack too, even if it is dead, but still it's gonna be dead and nobody's gonna be buying the combat pack too. And the wait will probably be worth it, okay? Don't always think negative. Even though everything looks so negative right now, there's always some positive stuff. I already said that, but still, you guys know what I mean. There's something positive about this, so that must mean that the wait will be worth it. And maybe we can even possibly get a combat pack 3. We don't know yet. But still guys, I feel like there's something gonna be good out of waiting this so freaking long. There's always something good happens when something bad happens, guys. Don't worry, guys. When everything looks very dark, everything looks dead, there is still a little bit of life left in that dead place. I think Netherrealm has got this. I think they're very smart enough. Ed Boon is like 50 years old. He knows what to do. Even though he's a troll, he knows what he's doing or Netherrealm knows what they're doing. So everything's gonna be fine, guys. I can guarantee to you guys that everything will be fine. Hey, here's one thing I found very suspicious. If they're gonna work on Mortal Kombat for two years or if they've been working on Mortal Kombat for like three years and they're still working on Mortal Kombat for 2016, maybe we can get Mortal Kombat 11 because they're working so much on Mortal Kombat and less than Injustice. And if Mortal Kombat 11 is their next game, it would make sense because they're working so much on something around Mortal Kombat and they're working on something around Mortal Kombat. They're working so much on Mortal Kombat so it would make sense if if Mortal Kombat 11 was the next game. I'm not saying that's guaranteed, I'm just saying. But, this is their baby, okay? Jade from MKX from Twitter, if you're watching this, you know this conversation we had. Mortal Kombat is their baby. Take care of their baby. They're gonna make it bowl 
gold and golden. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys are finding me for the first time, then make sure to hit me up with the like button and subscribe to get all things Mortal Kombat X. I know I'm late on this. I'm sorry, guys. I was with family. Family first, guys. So please don't go in the comments saying you're late, bro. I know I'm late, okay, guys? I know I'm late. You guys act like I don't know that. But anyways, if you guys would like to keep up to date with me, make sure to follow me on Twitter and all my social media sites. Link will be down in the description below. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. My name is Bro Productions, and I'm out for now.